The Laris region is home to the Pokemon League Challenge. Each gym offers a series of tests to discover the true potential of trainers and their partners. The Alluvia City Gym is where Carlia trains her team, and Milo steps into the ring. As the four of you stand in the Alluvia Gym, the gentleman who checked you in says, who's going first? <laughs> That's me. He goes, all right, kid. Good luck. Just know we're rooting for you. You got this. He holds, he holds the big dark red door. It's just big swaying open. And you step into a dark lit room. And as the door closes behind you, a series of like stadium lights kicks on. Sweet. Old man with no hair, he's just fully bald. He's got thick like Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> Steps out. And he just goes, My name is Hank. I'll be your first challenger. Oh snap. Nice to meet you, Hank. I'm Milo. He holds out an arm to shake your hand, and you can see he's got a tattoo of a Dodrio on his arm. Oh, sweet. Shake his hand. He's like, I should warn you, this won't be easy. <laughs> okay, this is my first ever gym battle, so I have no idea what's in <laughs> store for me. He says, it's okay. I'm going to ask you one question. It's got three possible answers. And that'll determine your first challenge. Okay. Are you fast, enduring, or strong? Fast, <laughs> for sure. Okay. Are you fast on the ground or in the air? Uh, in the air. Okay. And he snaps his fingers, and a series of like agility rings just start lowering from oh, the ceiling. Oh my! And he goes, "All right, fast in the air." Your challenge is to fly through all those rings faster than my Doduo can jump through them. Oh dang, okay. Um, so I'm gonna send out Monty. Okay. <laughs> um, just because of past trials, I'm harkening back to the even route races. Yeah. Violet's not a strong choice uh -huh. in hand or can fly. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go with Monty. Okay. And uh, do I, do we have a minute, or are we just like? Yeah, if you if okay. you need a minute, to do it, like what kind of pattern is it? Just like a a, a lap around? Or are they kind of staggered like slaloms? They're staggered, kind of like slaloms. Okay. Uh, they're at different altitudes. Okay. Um, varying from like five feet off the ground to like twenty or thirty feet off the ground, mm -hmm. to the point where you're kind of like how is How's it going to jump? Gonna do this? <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's nuts. Okay. Um, so I send Monty out. Um, Monty, this is uh, this is our first gym challenge, and it's a, a speed challenge. Uh, you you did this with even root, but this is um, going to be a different kind of challenge. So you're going to have to fly through the rings in order. I'm assuming like if one's behind it, that's the next one mm -hmm. kind of deal. Okay. So you're going to fly through the rings in each uh, in order. Um, from the beginning to the end. Um, so we're going to have to... I mean, this is what we do all the time. So you, you, I believe in you. I know you got this. Um, one thing I want you to bring in, though, is if you have... If you go through a ring that's up top and you have... And you're going to descend to a bottom ring, this is what I want you to... I want you to try out your new whirlwind and use it as a speed to to use that with gravity to just propel your speed so you can swoop up to the next couple. So use those to your advantage and um, I'll, I'll remind you too when you get to that point to do that. But we can do this. Okay. As you're talking, Monty's kind of like plucking at his feathers and looking at you, he's kind of like cracking his neck a little bit. He's ready. He looks, he looks ready. Good. It's like, we got this. Okay. Hank just looks at you, doesn't even say anything, just throws out a Pokeball and a Do Duo and just stands there and just starts like falling at the ground. <laughs> Something that's done 10,000 times, yeah. I'm sure. Jeez. Yeah. And he goes, I forgot to mention, 
there will be obstacles along the way. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't be wouldn't be a gym challenge if you just had to fly through some hoops. Fair deal. The whole time you're running this course, Carlia's Skarmory is going to be chasing you. <laughs> oh my goodness. If at any point it catches you, it's going to attack. God, okay. Let me add. So this is a true test of speed. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. Now Skarmory's not yet playing for keeps. He's not just going to take you down, but it's going to hurt. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I got Monty on my glove. Okay. Their duo's just kind of stood there. The two heads are just sort of looking around. Mm -hmm. They're starting to go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. Ten. Okay. So I got good news and bad news. Okay. The duo is going first. Uh huh. But Scarmory is not. Too. Okay. So as as Hank stands there and just goes, now! The duo just takes off like a shot, and you were kind of waiting for like a bigger cue. And yeah. Like, ah, come on, you go. Uh, the duo just runs, kicks off the floor, off one of the walls, and just like barrel rolls through the, like a 20 foot high uh, ring on the roof. 20 foot. And just leaps through the first one, comes in for a landing. Barely, barely sticks it. Almost like rolls an ankle on the way down, but it's like ready and, and like starts to keep running. That's its go. Okay. You see, you've got your first ring is about twenty feet high. The second one is like off to the side and down about five feet off the ground. Okay. You know, can I see the third one yet? Yeah. Yeah. That one's gonna be back up. So okay. You kind of have to go up, down, and then back okay. up again. Okay. Where's your pen? <laughs> <laughs> the other one's probably in T is open. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, so I'm gonna like we go throw Monty up. He's shooting up towards that first ring. Um, just gonna be going for it. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him at like as he's cresting to start like get him getting a whirlwind ready. Okay. So we're we doing concentration check yes. on that one, and it's uh, wisdom, right? Yep. Or no, it's constitution. Constitution. Three. Okay, as he's going, he's losing a ton of speed okay. trying to do this. And you're, you have the option, you can have him bail out or you can have him try to try to complete it. Would I roll again? You would roll again, but it's a it's a much higher DC. Um, remember you no, have to just, do the first just get out of it for now, one. yeah. Just okay. get out of it for now. Okay. So as he's losing a little bit of speed, he's just getting to that first ring and just flies through and you hear a little Cool. Yeah. That brings us to the Skarmory, who just is, you suddenly noticed, like, 40 feet behind you, has just been perched, sitting on top of the final ring. Oh, jeez. And just, <laughs> just takes <laughs> off like a bullet towards Holy you. Um, it sees the Doduo, is, like, a little bit further ahead, and instead of going for him, just the last second just starts, like... Kind of like a jet, just like straight up takes off towards Monty, and is about 15 feet below the ring as Doduo just starts running again. Jeez. Just barreling through that second ring, and it's going to try to kick off the wall again to get to that next one. See if you can get the height. It can't. Oh, as it goes sweet. up there, its leg slips out from underneath it and it falls and kind of goes. Rah! Then the Skarmory stops dead in its tracks, sees that one of them is wounded, and flies down to attack. That is, that is Monty's go. Saved by the bell there. Yeah, for real. Okay. Uh, Monty, I want you to, to tuck and roll and use the, the gravity to um, like gain some momentum and then swoop back up through that ring. Okay. Have Monty make an acrobatics check. He's got 18. Perfect. As he's just cresting through that first ring and Skarmory's close behind him, he just sort of dives into his own little barrel roll, learning from the do-duo, and just like spirals down, flies right through that first ring and gets a nice little speed boost as he's coming out nice. of it. And I'll say he gets most of the way to the third ring. Sweet. As he's flying up. Meanwhile, Skarmory's coming in towards the do-duo. With a 15 to hit, that'll do it. 
How many? Do, 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 I, do we know how many rings there are in total? Uh, there are twelve. Twelve. Okay. And Dojo takes three points of bludgeoning damage as Skarmory comes down and just clocks him and like right in the neck with Dang. one of its wings. Yikes. Not hard enough to like really do, do any damage, yeah. but it's it's there. He's yeah. feeling the burn for sure. Uh, that brings us back to Doduo, who's going to attempt to get up, and he's got to kick off that wall again because of no flight. That's, that's only a ten. As he as he goes to jump, they just barely get up there, and he kind of grabs the ring with his foot, kind of pulls himself <laughs> over and through, and then kicks off towards the next one. So each ring kind of goes like up, down. Okay, so we're and going. then it starts to turn. Okay. So ring two is down, ring three is going to be up. Yes, ring three will be up. And it is your go. As as Monty's about 15 feet shy of it, you okay. can see that uh, ring three is up and the ring four is way down. It's like on the ground and it's angled upwards. So he's okay. going to have to come in and come yeah. do another swoop. Okay. So since he's got so much momentum, um, I don't think we're at a point where we could try anything else. So. Um, I just want to have him, like, if he's already almost there, just kind of like an airplane, just kind of stall and drop back down Okay. Um, to, to gain more speed. And that's, he's, yeah, and just go straight back down to that next one. So just kind of use the rest of your momentum, save your energy, and just kind of stall through it. Okay. Just pick up all that gravity. Cool. So I'll say Monty basically um, comes out of that, that cresting dive right through the ring here another. As he just sort of stalls there for a second and the Skarmory looks up with him and is like, oh, is he stopped moving? I'm, gonna, I'm going in. And then Monty just just barrels down towards the ground. And right before he hits, he just one good flap of the wings and goes right back up into the air. And that'll bring us to the Skarmory, who, seeing the Doe Duo sort of struggling, is going to fly in for another attack. That's a it's at 23. Yikes. He takes takes another three points of damage. As as the Doduo is just kind of struggling, holding onto the ring, pulling itself through the Skarmory, just whack! Hits him right in the back, and he just sort of falls through the ring. Oh. Uh, let's see if you can catch himself. No. It's a natural one. Oh, as no. the Doduo falls and just sort of crumples into the ground, Hank's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. It's not good. Uh, let's see. For Doduo's turn, he's going to get up barely and just start running towards that next ground ring, which he gets through no problems, kind of ducking his heads under. Um, he's got to kick off that wall again and see how he does. It's not great, but it barely... He starts getting up there. So That's like ring three? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's a little ways behind you. So he's just crested through ring three. So he's, yeah, he's like a ring and a half behind right now. Okay. He's sort of struggling to keep up. All right. So I'm on my way to ring four? Yes. Okay. Uh, I mean, I Monty, just keep doing what you're doing right now. There's no no reason to get cocky or or uh, or fancy. Just, I mean, do, do what you do best, buddy. All right. So as he's making his way, we'll say he crests through uh, ring four is the one that's on the ground. I did it. Or three. Ring three, sorry. Yeah. Ring three is the one that's on the ground. So oh no, wait, you're right. You're right. Ring four was on the ground. Yeah, so he's he's just cresting through there, kind of flaps his wings one good time, and just ding, flies right on up. You can see five, six, and seven are staggered. They're all up in the air. Okay. But you have to go like back and forth. Okay. Back. Is that right now or next mm -hmm. turn? That'll be you can make it on this turn if you wanted to. Okay. Um so let's try that. I'm going to have, if he's back up there, he's he went down through ring four, and he's up at ring five. Yes. Um, and he's going to do a zigzag. So um, go through five, and then, I mean, you're going to have to, you're going to lose momentum, pivot through six, but then on seven, we're going to try the whirlwind again. Okay, so have him make an acrobatics check just to turn okay, sure. that many times in that, that For thing. each one? So like through ring five? No, just one. Okay. Let's see how he does it wrong. It's a 16. It's a good one. Yeah, Monty's able while he's up in the air to just sort of 
curving back and forth, and as he gets through ring seven, you can see he's starting to lose speed. Mm -hmm. This is when I want to try to do that again. He allowed okay. him to do a whirlwind. Okay. But that would be next turn, right? Well, he, he hasn't taken an action. Oh, okay, sick. So let's freaking go. It's just that his movement. All right, Monty, use your whirlwind, and let's uh, let's take this lull in momentum to get a huge boost in momentum. It's a twelve. Okay. That is enough. Okay. As you, as Monty's sort of up there, he just starts flapping his wings really fast, and you can see the Skarmory at this point is just dead set. He's like, the Murkrow has stopped moving, coming in. As Monty just, just takes off into like a, a speed dive, you can see him cresting away. Uh, the Skarmory at this point just flashes one of its wings out, and you can see three little like steel daggers just start to fly out towards Monty. Not enough. And then a 14 and a 16. Both of them hit. Okay. So Monty takes 3 and 2. So 5 total points of damage. Okay. Actually, wait, no, because your AC goes up by 2 when you are whirlwinded. Oh, yeah. So. I thought I had to, like, use it for that. No, when you're. When you're fast, because so you're harder to hit. Then. Okay, yeah, so you'll take, we'll say you take two. Because the second one was the higher number. No, the higher to hit. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So that was Skarmory's go. It is now back to the Doduo. Who's going to just keep trying to kick off the wall. He's got to do, he's got to do a lot of work to catch up. There we go. He's finally able to just get up to the ring, kick off it for speed. He lands okay. Sort of runs through the next ground one, and then he just looks up and kind of goes. <sighs> and we'll see if he can get up to that first ring. Just barely. As he kicks up and he's sort of like cresting on that that first ring, he's looking at the next one and he's like, "Okay, I gotta jump there. I gotta jump there." And while he's taking a minute to to think about it, the Skarmory is like, "Now's my chance." <laughs> Sending out one more little dagger towards the Do Duo, and it just. The heads just kind of part as the neck <laughs> goes right through, and the dude just goes, What the heck, man? Leave me alone. And you can see at this point, Carlias just stood up in like a, an observation room. She's just watching. She's disappointed in Hank. <laughs> yeah. She's just watching as the. You can see the chat dot's beak is kind of moving, but you can't hear anything yeah. that they're saying. Okay. So they're kind of observing, seeing how this goes. So, back to you. Um, I don't want to do anything, I just want to keep up that momentum, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if, after doing the three up top, if we're going back down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, just tuck and roll, Monty, you got this. Okay. With his faster speed, as he dives down, you can see he's going, like, way too fast. Uh -huh. As he's cresting in, the, the next ring is angled towards the ground, so he's going to have to come out of that dive yeah. really quick. Okay. Um, so have him make an acrobatics check. Because he's coming in real fast. That is a 13. Very good. Okay. As Monty's coming in, he just, just sort of like barrels himself down and then right back up. And it's kind of like, holy cow, it's <laughs> close. Um, the next two rings are angled. So one of them's about halfway up like this, and uh -huh. the other one's like this. Okay. So he's going to have to fly up and backwards. Okay. Well, let's freaking try to do that, buddy. Okay. You can do it. So have him make another acrobatics check just to turn, because okay. he's kind of having to go, like, upside, upside down, down yeah. for a minute. Oh, uh, it's an eight. Okay. So he's a little unfamiliar. He loses a little bit of that speed uh -huh. as he's getting there, and he kind of just flaps for a second and then just starts flying the other way. Uh, but I'll say he makes it through the next two rings. Okay. He's getting there. At this point, you can see the final three. He's mm -hmm. kind of, like, arced up and back. Uh, the next three, it's up, down, and then down onto the ground where he's going to end. Okay. So at this point, as a trainer, I want to start running a along the side. Okay. I mean, I should have been doing that from the start, because there's no <laughs> way I get there, but at least to get there afterwards. Yeah, so you can, yeah. so you can celebrate with them when you when you get there. Because I I mean, you can see the Doduo is not having a good time. Yeah, regardless, I still yeah. want to be there then. Okay. Uh, so let's see, that was... That's Monty, and then it is the Skarmory. So the Skarmory at this point just takes off towards Monty like a bullet. Yeah. Uh, sure. Monty's been going real quick, but that little lapse in concentration is kind of getting to him. Yeah, 
that'll do. That's a 22 mm. to hit for two points of damage. The Skarmory at this point is kind of pulling its punches. Uh-huh. Um, because it's not trying to just like yeah. axe your lead. He's just trying to say like, hey, keep up the pace. And also, this is a gym. Yeah, there's no time see for how you do under pressure. Yeah, under it being attacked. Yeah. And that brings us back to the do duo. <laughs> Poor do duo. <laughs> Who has to leap to two rings? So let's see, acrobatics. It's a twelve. That'll do. And it's a five. That will not do. Yeesh. As do duo jumps to the first ring kind of swings himself upside down like an acrobat and like sort of flings himself through, cracks right into the side of the third ring, tumbles through it, and then falls all the way to the ground. And lands like five feet in front of the other ring and starts to like get itself back up. Oh. This poor guy's having a rough go. For real. And that is back to you. Sweet. Um, so... He's up top and he's, yeah, so I just want yeah, to do, just there's, do no, final there's no reason to risk it. <laughs> Monty, yeah. just do a final a final bomb. Okay. As the Skarmory's there, it kind of lets out like a victory cry for you as Monty just ding, ding, ding. And I'll say you're sliding in with your glove out as Monty just All right. Shh. Sweet. Latches onto your glove. That's awesome. And Hank comes up and goes, well done. Well, well done indeed. Thank you, Hank. Very well done. And he goes, as is customary, he hands you a $10 bill. Sweet. Put up a heck of a race in the air. I'm impressed your do duo <laughs> as the jumping prowess that it does. That's really it's cool. Like, yeah, we usually struggle a little bit when we stay there fast in the air, but that's okay. <laughs> he goes, all right, it's on to your next challenge. All right. As he recalls his doduo and the Skarmory just goes and perches on top of that observation post, the rings ascend. And a, a girl in her, like, probably late teens with long black hair, a blue jumpsuit, just comes up and just goes, I'll be your next opponent. Obviously with Hank, you chose agility. Now are you enduring or strong? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a grave mistake. Um, oh boy. Let's do. <laughs> ah, let's do strong. Okay. Oh no. She goes. That's probably a good choice. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. For this one, you're gonna pick two of your Pokemon. Okay. Do right now. <laughs> ah! um, Pick two of your Pokemon for something that you would imagine to be a test of strength. I'm gonna bring Monty again, okay, due to the hype of the last challenge. Oh God! I'm gonna bring Violet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> just Violet because of challenge three is enduring, <laughs> it can't it can't be violent. You can't do it. Okay. Your strength challenge. Uh huh. Is just a simple battle. Okay. All you have to do is defeat her two Pokemon okay. with your two Pokemon. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Should be doable. Okay. Should be just fine. It's a skip limit and not to. Okay. She throws out her two Pokeballs. Is uh is Monty still at eighteen? No, Monty will heal. Okay. Yes, they will if they take any damage in any of these challenges, okay, they go back to okay. they you are allowed time to recover. Sweet. Okay. Okay. Alright, you ready? Yep. Natu's going first. Okay. As Natu's eyes begin to glow like a bright pink. Uh-huh. She stares at Monty. The side beam has an 11 to hit. As it just sort of goes up, Monty just sort of stares at him oddly. She goes, it's like I'm immune to that. And it just sort of Suckers. fizzles. Nothing seems to really happen. What was that move? What was that? Uh, that brings us to Monty, as Monty doesn't move. 
Okay. Uh, he just sort of sits there glowing. So uh, Monty is going to shoot in to Skip Loom here. Okay. And try to hit him with an Astonish. Okay. Because he got that a, l a little improved. He did. So I want to give it a shot. Okay. So for uh, an 11 to hit. 11 will hit. Oh, sweet. Okay. This so is not a run of the mill Skip Loom. And that's a three damage. Three damage. Dang it. Okay. As Monty runs up, it just sort of clocks into the skip loom. It's, it's taken aback, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, it is not flinched. Nope. It's a quick attack, but not quite. Shucks. Uh, Violet. Oh, dang. Um, okay, Violet is going to also shoot in. Um, here ish. Okay. So for fun for fun's sake, you are now flanking. Okay. So Violet has advantage on oh, all attacks. Sweet. Um, Violet was gonna come at uh, with a comet punch. Okay. So let's see how many attacks I do. How many? Five attacks. Oh, five attacks made with advantage. Here you go. Here we go. So it's uh thirteen. Okay. First one hit. A 21. That'll hit. Two. A 13. Okay. 16. Thank God for advantage. Good Lord. 15. Okay. And a 22. All of those will hit. There were three natural ones in that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here it goes. I don't. I think I'm still. Did, did did she gain something yesterday? I don't think she did. All right, here we go. Five hits coming at you for one damage. Four, five, seven, ten damage. Ten damage. Good job, Violet. Holy yeah. Cow. As Violet just flies up, doesn't even spark the aura yet, doesn't see the need to. Just <laughs> five quick punches into the side of this little balloon. <laughs> as, as you can see, it's starting to kind of deflate. It's like, ow, 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 ow. Um, <laughs> for Skip Loom's turn, it just sort of starts shaking, and a bunch of powder starts to Dang it. dissipate. Okay. So I need Violet to make a constitution save. Okay. 18. 18 is like way more than enough. That's with her negative modifier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it, she would have been afflicted with something. Oh, wait. I guess that would have been a critical save then because. Did you get a 20? I got a 19, but she crits on a 19 or 20. Oh, on attacks. Oh. Or okay. attacks crit on 19. Okay. But yeah, otherwise you are, Sweet. You are unaffected. Cool, cool. As as it is now Natu's turn. Oh, that's interesting. I forgot about that. So Natu is gonna oh, just kind of suppression field. Yep. Dang it. Natu's gonna sort of s scoot its way over to to Monty. Okay. And just try to peck him. Okay. Like this. <laughs> Does he get advantage? Cause I'm flanked. He does. In all fairness. But that first one is a natural one. <laughs> Then the second one is a 15. That'll do. Okay. 2d4 damage incoming. For six points of damage. Dang. That was a good roll. Yeah. As the Nacho just sort of walks up and Monty's like, oh, I'll fight you before this is fine. <laughs> Shh. Ow. Well, what the heck? Ow. Where was that? It's funny. Ow. Okay. Monty's up. Monty's up. All right, let's peck the skip loom. Okay. <laughs> Seven to hit. You're at advantage. Thank God. You were flanking. Uh, nine to hit. Nine is not enough Woof. to hit. Okay. Somehow the skip loom, as it's just sort of shaking powder off, Monty's trying not to get any on him. He's like, I don't know what this is. Yeah. He tries to go in for a peck, and he's just not quite able to make contact. Well, dang it. All right, Violet. All right, Violet. Comet Punch again. Let's do this. But I'm going to energy this time because you don't have to move. You're not moving. For three attacks. Okay. 
that's cocked. It's a 17. Okay. Another 17. And a 16. Okay, those will all do. For one, three, four damage. Okay. This Violet comes in with three more quick punches. Uh, more powders like leaking out of skin. <laughs> it's like, ow! Ow! <laughs> that brings us to the Skiplum, who's going to go for a bullet seed on Violet. Nice. For an 11, a 10, a 9, and a 16. Two hits. Okay. For a total of five points of bludgeoning. Oh, God. That's so weak. <laughs> okay. That's half her health in one move. All right, so Natu. Pathetic. Natu's coming in for another peck at Monty. Okay. That'll do. I think that's a 17. Yep. 2d4 damage coming in. For two. Sick. That's good right there. That's, that's the real damage. for me. That's the most damaging damage ever. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Monty. All right. We're going to try another peck on Skip Loom. Okay. That one's a 13 and a 13. Okay, that'll hit. For four damage. Oh, you're so close. Come on, dudes. You're so close. You're so close. You can do it. As Monty pecks into Skip Loom, you can see it is... Barely hanging on. I accidentally wrote how much damage you did instead of how much health is left. There we go. Alright, Violet. Another Comet Punch for four attacks. Twenty-one. This is against Skiplin? Yeah. Okay. Eighteen. And twelve. Okay. Is that two hits? Or all uh, three? That's two, yeah. Okay. Three damage. Or sorry, no, that's all three. Five. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. AC is 11. Eight damage. Eight damage. Violet, yeah. Uh, that drops it to negative seven. Ba 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 ba. Ba. This Violet goes for the ultimate punch. With all six <laughs> arms. Yeah. See it. Skip Loom three different like, angles. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. As Skip Loom falls. Yeah, Violet. You beast! Brings us back to Natu with Skiploom lying unconscious on the floor. Yes. Natu no longer has advantage on attacks. Oh yes. He's no longer flanking. However, that is still a 21 to hit. That'll that'll hit. He's coming in for a peck at Monty. That is seven points of damage. That's brutal. Okay. Alright, the Natu as yet untouched. Yep. It's just eagerly awaiting. Yep. Monty's up? Yes. All right, Monty is going to try to astonish. Okay. For a 22 to hit. 22 will hit. Get it. Get it. No! Three damage. Three damage. Freaking right. A, man. Natu's no longer untouched. Killing me. He has been damaged. Okay. As Natu just takes a quick beak to the face. Oh, like, violence. Ah! Ow. All right, let's gonna go. move in. Get that flank. Get, get that flank. Get that flank. Comet punch. Let's go for five attacks. Oh my god! You can end it right now. Let's do this. Five good attacks. That's a twenty-two. Okay. Or twenty. Twenty. Not natural. Okay. Because I'm not. I don't have my aura up anymore, right? Because I had to move. Yeah. Once you move. Okay. It's a seventeen. An 18, a 13, and a 21. So the lowest is a 13? Yeah. They all hit. Sick. Alright, five attacks. Let's do this. Three, five, eight, eleven, twelve. How does Violet yeah! order do this? Alright, Violet's coming in, just ultimate punch the skip loom, and then just like diffuses the aura, wings up, just shoots around for just like one of those like Superman punches <laughs> right into Nami. 
right in a Natu. Okay. Yeah, as the Natu falls, uh, the girl walks up to you and just goes, Congratulations. Thank you. That was the best Viola has Good. ever performed in her life. She hands you $14. Sick! Oh my Welcome god. Welcome to Alluvia. Thank you. God, I never want to leave. Okay. Holy she, Toledo. She looks at you and just goes, Well done. Thank you. Let's see how you endure. Yeah, and for she, real, right? She turns around to leave. Uh, you can see a younger kid, maybe 13, 14. Um, he's my got, age. <laughs> yeah. He's got like short, dirty blonde hair. He's wearing the same blue jumpsuit okay. that everybody else has been wearing. Um, and he just looks, he looks like a little unsure of himself. He's kind of like shuffling his feet on the way and he's kind of struggling to make eye contact with you. He's just like, hey, uh, I guess I have the, uh, the Endure Challenge yep. for you. Yeah. So, I guess let's get started. Okay. Grab his card. You may use all three of your Pokemon for this. Oh, snap. My heart is pounding. You will need them. Milo is about to poop his pants. <laughs> He did not think, I did not think I would make it this far. The fact that I am even on the challenge three is blowing my mind. Alrighty. So for the endurance challenge, it's all three of you uh -huh. against an opponent that is way too difficult. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yeah, I guess so. Your goal is not necessarily to kill them. Uh -huh. It's just, just to, to last a just certain to amount endure. of time. endure, okay. You just have to last for a certain amount of time. Okay. Okay? Okay. That's all you have to do. Okay. It's, but it's not going to be easy. <laughs> no, it is not. As the the kid just kind of looks at you and goes, Oh, I forgot. I'm Gavin. Oh. Uh, nice, yeah. Nice to meet you. I'm Milo. Yeah, it's good Good to meet you. Uh, I, I guess, I guess go, man, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. He throws out. This massive manta ray. It's just sort of like soaring through the arena uh -huh. around, kind of scoping you out. Mm -hmm. As it's just sort of like swinging on through. Just looks down at all, at you and your, My three, Pokemon. You and your three Pokemon. It's just kind of like, holy right? cow. Kind of nods. Uh -huh. That just sort of sinks in like five feet above the ground, but like 20 feet away from you. It's Dang. just like floating there. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Violet's up first. Violet's gonna focus energy just where she is. Just okay. hold her ground, power up. Okay. And that's it. Alright, as Violet powers up, gets ready for <laughs> whatever's coming. That brings us to Houndor. Houndor is going to howl. Okay. And psych the whole squad up. Yeah. Um, get pumped for this. This is the first, no, this is the second time they've all battled together. Because they battled uh, CJ, mm -hmm. um, so he's he's gonna howl and just kind of do his thing for his introductory into battle, get everyone psyched. Okay. And then uh, he's just gonna move around this way a little bit. Okay. And that's it. All right, Monty. Monty is last. Monty um, is, you know. He's going to go a little strategic. I'm going to tell him to go around the side of Mantine here and try to astonish him. Because if okay. we can get a flinch, yeah. done. Yeah, go for it. So, come on, buddy. For a 21 to hit. That absolutely hits. Heck, yes. Come get buddy. it. Come on. Get it. Yes! He's done it. Yes! He's done it. Disadvantage and flinch. Okay. Four damage to Mantine. Okay. <laughs> Mantine takes a big nothing. hit. Big hit. Whoo! Monty, yes, yes, come in. He's a clutch. <laughs> okay. As as Monty comes into the side and just stabs a sharp beak into the side of his Mantine, he watches it. doesn't, like, recoil so much. It just sort of sits there. And it just sort of is, like, <laughs> staring down at Monty. It does skip its turn. Oh, as it is. Yeah. Oh that brings us to God. Violet. Alright, Violet is still just going to power up. She's just okay. going to sit there and focus energy. 
Okay. Um, Houndor is going to... Uh, your attacks have advantage because it's stunned. That okay. changes your mind. Uh, <laughs> not really. Not for not for Violet. Okay. Um, Houndor will come in. Is that still flanked? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's flanked and stunned. So okay, so I'm going go to go, go for a bite. Okay. So I get to roll, what, three times? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the heck does that mean? No. You basically you roll you roll twice and you have an extra bonus to hit. You have a plus two from the flanking. Oh, okay. In addition to advantage. Uh, yes. So that would be yeah, that's the same thing. So thirteen plus three plus the extra two. Yeah. So it'd yeah. just be eighteen to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, and then I get a D ten. Six damage. Okay. It's a big hit. At this rate, we'll, you'll have him dead by like two o'clock. Great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as Houndor runs up and sort of sinks his fangs into one of the wings of the Mantine, the Mantine just sort of lifts him off the ground, stares at him, and just shits him. Just sort of drops him. Okay, and then Monty's gonna swing around the back here and go for it. Can I astonish again? Like, yeah. is that. Can I just keep going you for that? You can stunlock it for as long as it works. Frickin' let's go. Uh, but advantage. Mm -hmm. Thank God. For 13 to hit. That's 13 probably. barely hits. Oh my God. Come on, buddy. Three or four. Four. Mm. He's done it. Five damage. Don't even care about that. Just, you're stunlocked, bro. The Mantine oh. still just sort of sits there. Uh, yeah. It's enduring. It doesn't even get hurt. Alright, so we're up again, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Violet's just going to keep to Violet. powering up, because I don't think I want her to do anything. Okay. Um, can How high off the ground is Mantine? Like five feet. Okay, I want Houndor to jump on top of him. Okay. Boom. And then um, just howl while he's up there. Okay. Well, not a howl. Jumps up there and howls. Yeah. Okay. And then... Uh, is this still considered flanked? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You so, still have an ally. So and then Monty's gonna go for it again. Okay. Well, let's do this. It's a sixteen or a twenty-three. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, oh, Monty. Fifty-fifty. Monty. He's done it. He's done it. Another four damage. Five is the absolute max that I can do. <laughs> This doesn't matter. <laughs> That's okay. You're doing great. You're enduring very well. And he's locked, so... He is locked. So, so Violet, Violet's just, I mean, knowing that it's an endurance challenge, she'll probably take die to whatever he does. <laughs> she's just, I don't want her to get close, because the time that this misses, she's done. Okay. Um, I, I, now, Houndor, I want... I'm going to tell him to keep howling and just run along like in circles on his back just as an attempt to like disorient. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's all he's going to do right now. Um, and then Monty is just going to do it again. I'm going to have him come around the side just to mix it up. Okay. And then immediately regret that probably. Probably, yeah. Natural time. Oh, yeah. Natural. Get that crit. Break in. 20. Do that 10 damage. Yeah, it's good What's enough. That? Eight. eight. Well, it'd be before eight, so six plus the one. Yeah. Eight, so seven. seven. Seven damage with the stun. It's another good hit. Oh. As the mantine's oh. just sort of sitting there floating. Just sort of <laughs> completely unfazed. Just it brings us back to Violet. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing and just. Monty's gonna go for it again. Like they're gonna keep it. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. So Violet's still keeping her distance. Houndor's running on his back, probably having a great time with the waves of yeah. the, <laughs> the wings. Yeah. And then Monty's gonna go in for a hit here. All right, so it's a twenty-three to hit. Yeah. Dang it! It finally happened. It finally happened. <laughs> oh no! I wish super luck applied to that. Oh well. So that's two. Yeah. Yeah. On the bright side, you did half his health. Dang. Before he moved. crazy. <laughs> Here it comes. All right, Mantine. 
as Manti oh, just no. looks down <laughs> at Monty, just sort of spinning slightly in place. Goes for a water pulse. That's only a ten. Doesn't hit. That's good. That's good. Because that would have been a ton of damage. Oh, as God. Manti just looks, just goes. Ooh, <laughs> as water just floods the the chamber, as Monty's like, whoa, just sort of like hearkening back to the agility course, just dives through the ring. It's like, dude, that was close. And you look behind, as there's like a eight foot crater in the floor behind. Holy Monty. cow! Like, what? That's crazy. What? And then at the end of its turn, it just sort of sits on the ground. It roosts. Oh man, what the heck? End of Mantine's turns to Violet. Okay, so, um, having seen that, uh, I tell Violet to get further back. Because, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, Houndor's gonna stay up there, because as far as I can tell, that's a a good place to be. Mm -hmm. And then Monty is going to try to stun him again. Okay. For an unnatural 20. Perfect. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You can do it, buddy. Get it, buddy. Got it, buddy. Buddy. Four more damage. Fantastic. Probably healed all of the damage he's taken so far from Roost. No, <laughs> oh. no. He has he has a set amount that he recovers. Okay. Da -da. So that brings us back. Back right? to Violet. All right. Uh, second verse, same as first, just shooting right around to Monty. Okay. For a twenty-one to hit, or never know when you'll get it. Ah, <sighs> three uh -oh. damage. That's not good. Uh oh. That's not good. He's down to one below what he was before he healed. As he just looks at Monty again. Oh no! Another water pulse. That's a 18 to hit. Oh no! I think you live this. But that is 12 points of cold damage. Okay. And then it just sort of roosts again. That does one hit, but that's okay. It's all good. Uh, the, it's back to Violet. Okay. As Monty's just sort of barraged with another stream of just freezing water. As he's just sort of dripping wet and is sort of shivering in place. Alright, Violet's not going to move. Can Houndor, I'm going to have Houndor try to bite from the top. Okay, yeah. For a natural 20. Oh. Cause he's been howling. He too. he howled. So we're at a D10, a D10 crit. Get that twenty. Twenty damage. Get that twenty oh damage. My god. <laughs> oh my god. So much howling. <laughs> As Houndor's just been running around, just going like woo, woo, and he just sinks his fangs into Mantine. You watch for the first time as Mantine's eyes go. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh open wide. He's That's like, ow. Crazy. Ow. Yeah, all right, Monty. Just a Monty. Astonish. Oh, no. Oh, no. A nine to hit. Nine misses. <laughs> no. As the recoil from that got yeah. him off the ground, probably. As Manti's like, ow. Oh, it, God. It goes for another water pulse. Oh, oh Monty. Yeah. That's a 21 to hit. Oh, no. <laughs> That is 11, 12, He's gone. 15 points of cold damage. Monty is knocked out. As Monty is just barreled into the crater in the ground. Dang it. I run up to him, I pet him on his little curved hat, and I said, you have done astoundingly well, my friend, and I yeah. call him back into his Pokeball. Okay. All right, Violet's going to not do nothing over there. Okay. Because... Don't get involved. <laughs> Please. Don't get involved. Just, just hang tight. We just have to endure. Alright, Houndor is going to go for a bite again. Okay. Get it. Get it. For an 18. Yes. 21 to hit. And then we're back get down it. to a D8. 
And three damage. Three damage. Let's keep him on his toes. Keep him on his toesies. How long do we have to endure? 20 more rounds. Oh my god. You're getting close. You're getting real close in every regard. Uh, but Mantine's turn. He just flies up into the air with Hunter on <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> At which point he just spins upside down. Uh-huh. I need I need your Houndor to make a strength check to see if he can hang on. A seventeen. Okay, yeah. I'll say through his bite he's able to just like <laughs> hold on. He's like ah ah like a dog when you lift it off the ground. With yeah. The and as the Mantine just sort of finishes its little barrel roll, it just looks down at Violet. For a 13 to hit. Dang it! Violet's toast! That is more than 10. <laughs> yes it is, she's dead. It is 8, 11, 16. Dang it, Violet, no! <laughs> You're so close, I should have had you been punching. You're so close. <laughs> no! Okay, that is Houndor's turn. Oh no. He's right side up again, so he can strike again. All right. We can do another bite. It, yeah, I'm not going to get off. That just seems stupid. So might as well bite while you're on there, buddy. Get a, nope, an eight to hit. Eight misses. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. As Houndor goes in for a bite and just sinks his teeth into air, Yeah. on Mantine's turn, he just sort of lowers back down to the ground. For another roost. He's out of roosts. With no attack. As Gavin walks up and goes, he did. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You endured it. Thank you, Gavin. That was a ton of fun and an interesting challenge. Uh, he hands you $19. He goes, well done. You, you did it, you, you endured. Uh, I should warn you, Carlia is worse than all of us. Oh, I'm sure. I don't doubt that for a second. <laughs> <sighs> you did well. Thank you. Your mantine is huge. It's cause Thank you, we know. <laughs> <laughs> He's very big. He is. Okay, so Monty leveled up last session, right? Yes. Okay, so that's an update. I'm going to update that. Uh, Violet. Yes. Comet Punch. Yes. Now deals 1d3 plus 1. Dang it. Okay. And you may roll a d6. I want to get rid of this three-sided die. <laughs> five. Oh, that's five. a good roll. That's huge. That so was five a really plus good roll. Oh, five plus that? Yeah. Dang it. Four. Oh. Woo. Dang. Woo. At right. least she has as much HP as Houndor. Yeah. That's good. That's real good. Okay. As Gavin recalls his giant man team, yep. walks out of the arena, you see Carlia's observation chamber just lowers like an elevator. As she steps out onto the field, you see the little chat tot. Sitting there, he just goes, It's you. It, hello again. Hello. I'm so excited to see how you use what we taught you. <laughs> I'm excited. We've been practicing it probably more than we should have. <laughs> goes, that's good. That's really good. I'm very happy to hear that. Now then, shall we get down to business? <laughs> let's, let's do it. It says, you may use up to three Pokemon. Up to three. I should warn you, we will use the same number. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> it, and one-on-one? -on -one? Like, or up to three and then it's a triple battle. May use oh up god! To Pokemon. Oh god! Okay. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> let's do one on one. Okay. Who you picking? Monty. Monty. The bird. The chat dot looks at you and goes, "Do you have a preference? Who you fight?" Uh, what are my options? There is a Skarmory, uh -huh. a Zatu, uh -huh. and a Noctowl. Oh, God. Your fate is in your own hands. 
Let's do let's do Zatu. Okay. A poor choice. <laughs> <laughs> they all sounded like poor choices. <laughs> As of course is tradition for today. Monty's going first. Alright. Fly around the side. <laughs> <I> like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bullet speed. Let's um Try to astonish him. Okay. Let's go for it. I like that you've you finally discovered that astonish is the way to go. <laughs> I, I tried the first <laughs> battle, it just didn't pan out. <laughs> then You're it was, like, oh, never again. And then it, no, like the now first. All of a sudden. When it was versus uh, the girl who didn't tell me her name, mm -hmm. uh, it was Natu and Skip Loom. I tried and I failed, so yeah. I was like, whatever, let's just do damage. And then when yeah. it came to Mantine, I was like, I just gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. That is a six to hit. <laughs> that is not enough to hit. As you run in for the Astonish and the Zatu, just phases behind you. Okay, that's terrifying. You're like, oh no. What have I done? I need Monty to make an intelligent saving throw. And also on this, instead of writing one half, we wrote 1.2. <laughs> Damage. 1.2 damage. That is a. What is it? Intelligence? Yes. 14. 14 is enough. Yes. So you will take one half of this damage. 1.2. It actually gets stronger. You take 1.2 times this damage. In succeeding, you have only made me stronger. <laughs> you take 7 divided by 2. We'll round down. We'll say you take 3. Okay. 3 points of psychic damage. Holy cow. So that's. Okay, yeah. well then let's freaking go for that. Okay. Astonish again. Yeah, so that would have affected me. 14 to hit. 14 exactly hits. Thank God. Yes. There it is. It was the kiss. Four damage. It was the kiss. Four damage. Disadvantage flinch. 32. Okay. As the Zatu goes to phase away, Monty's quicker. And just recognizing that last time it appeared behind, Monty goes for a strike and then turns around and just oh, astonishes air. Good. As good Zatu's good appearing there, good just job. bam, right into the chest. Good job. As the Zatu kind of looks up like, what? How did you, how did you predict me? And that's <laughs> sort of, we'll say that's sort of how he's stunned okay. for the round. Okay. And then it's back to, it's back to Monty. Okay. For mm him. -hmm. So let's let's go for it. Okay. There's no harm. There's a little harm. No, there's there's none. <laughs> no harm. He's gonna go up, try to whip up a whirlwind. Okay. Concentration. Here we go. That's constitution, right? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask that seventeen more times. Seventeen. You you can ask it until it becomes a move you can do. <laughs> <laughs> seventeen. That's way more than enough. Uh and then we're gonna shoot that up as a tailwind and fly back in for a peck. Okay. With the AC boost. Yes. Pew! Dang it. 12 did. advantage because he stopped. Oh, thank God. <laughs> it's unnatural 20. Perfect. To hit. That'll do. For 8 damage. 8 damage. With math. That brings him to there. Okay. Zatu no longer being stunned. Correct. Spins around and with disadvantage attempts to aerial ace. That's the move, one boy. That is a 14. No dice with my boost. <laughs> That's good. That's As up. the Zatu just wings its little arm out. A little bug right there. No, that's distracting. As the Zatu just wings his little, his little wing out. Just, uh, Monty's just much faster. Already gone. Ducks under as the air is just like sliced in half. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for an Astonish again. Get him. That is a 23 to hit. Yeah. It's a one. No! <laughs> it's a one. No, two damage. That sucks. Okay, no disadvantage this time. Nope. As as Monty Brick. goes in for another, trying to be kind of cutesy, and is like, oh, I'm going to fake you out. The Zatu just doesn't phase this time. 
as he strikes air and he's like, wait, what? No longer a disadvantage. Aerial ace. It's a 20 to hit. Oh no. It's a big hit. That's 10 damage. Oh, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. How's he looking? Not good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, it's it's back to Monty. Alright, he's gotta do it again. It's the only hope is the it's the long game here. So astonish. It's a sixteen to hit. That'll do. Please. You got this. Get yes! It. Four there damage. Four damage. Okay. Stun disadvantage. Alright. Okay. Um, as the Zatu sits there, stunned and annoyed, it's Monty's turn. Let's do it again. Let's do that. Tailwind. Let's shoot up. Tailwind it up. Here we go. That was an 18 to whip up the whirlwind. Mm -hmm. And sure. then we're going to shoot in to do another peck attack. Peck attack. No. Thank God. Stunned. I keep forgetting. It's 19 to hit. 19 hits. Please. No! Three damage. Three damage. That hurts. So much setup. A lot. So much setup. That's okay though. Oh. Zatu is below half. You can do this. Oh god. As Monty comes in for a, a solid peck, he hits. He starts to hit Zatu as he's phasing and just barely clips him as the Zatu appears behind. I need Monty to make another intelligence saving throw. Oh, man. I'll say he has advantage because Zatu would be a disadvantage on his next attack. Twelve. Twelve is not No. I'm dead. <laughs> so dead. So dead. He takes six points of psychic oh damage. Oh my god! Hanging in there by a thread. He's hanging in there. Hanging in there by the, the smallest amount. Oh boy. Alright. Monty's turn. Astonish him, Monty! For a 22 to hit. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Get it. Yes! Oh my god. Five damage. Oh my god. That's freaking You're crazy. so close! Oh my god. As Zatu phases out from the peck, <gasps> and Monty sort of shakes off the psychic assault, he just whack another quick attack and. The Zatu's kind of got the wind knocked out of him. Okay. It's back to you. All right. Oh, All right, I can't. <laughs> uh, I don't think that'd be enough. Even if I, like, max that out with eight, I don't, I don't think that's enough. So I'm going to try to astonish him again. Okay. Keep him locked into it. Is he still stunned, or his turn he's ended so stunned. he's not anymore? Uh, well, let's see. I've been counting it as when you stun him, he's stunned until the start of the turn where he's not stunned. Okay, so he's still stunned? Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise that doesn't do you have a lot of good. 16 to hit. Okay. That'll do. Get him. Get him. Yes! yes! <laughs> Four damage. Four! Alright. As the Zatu sits there, wind knocked out of it, Monty comes in for another beak, just whack! The Zatu's like, <sighs> gasping for air. It's Monty's turn. I, I gotta go for it one more time. One more time. One more time, and then we're gonna do the big finisher. I think that's enough. Natural 20. For four, oh, so seven damage. He has six HP. Oh, yes! 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 Um, so, with all the stun, and Zatu hasn't been moving for two turns now, for the third one, uh, Monty recalls all two of his battles with Natus mm -hmm. and just, uh, He's going to whip up a, a whirlwind. I'm going to make it happen. I don't care. Okay. And he's going to shoot in and just peck him straight in the forehead because he knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's the <laughs> real point. <laughs> yeah. 
Right in the apricot? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. As, as Monty makes contact and the Zatu begins to fall over, Carlia just recalls it. And the, the chat just goes, very well done. Thank you so much. That was such an exciting So battle. pleased to see that you've learned from us. <laughs> yeah, and that was like the best experience. Uh, I mean, you'll hear from the rest of them, but that was one of the most fun things we've ever done. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you. As the chat dot sort of flits down into Carlia's pocket, she sort of holds an arm out, and you can see at this point she's got a tattoo of an arrow on her right forearm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Um, as, as she just sort of holds up her arm, uh, the chat dot just sort of reaches in, grabs a little wallet, opens it up, kind of flicks it, holds it with one of its feet, and sort of beaks through, pulls out a $100 bill. Holy Toledo! Just goes, well done. Can you break this? <laughs> That'd be so mean. I want to give you five dollars. <laughs> Do you have change? And he hands you Holy hundred dollars. That's awesome. Jeez Louise. And he goes, I have something else for you as well. For your skill, your endurance, your strength, and your agility, you have proven that you are worthy of the Baron Badge. Oh yeah. So he pulls it out. It's a it's a small, like it almost looks like a military sigil. It's like two little wings coming out the top of, of like a small bird's head with a little beak. It almost looks like a tiny eagle. And he hands it to you. He goes, keep this safe. I will. I will take it. Um, I gotta figure out. I want to put it um, on, like, if I'm holding my bird glove, this part that loops down like on the inside okay. so I can see it. So it's like, yeah. In there. And then also I have it, but like they won't see when I come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. As as you say your goodbyes to Carlia and Chaton, you head back out into the lobby of the gym. You can see your three friends just sort of sat there and tapping their feet anxiously. And they look up at you and they're like, oh. and then man goes, who's next? Oh man. And that's where we'll call this. Sick. And so concludes our first gym challenge. Milo was successful on his attempt, but how will the others fare?